okay I am actually super excited about where I am today it's top secret I've actually been planning to come here um, ever since I had this idea to come to Europe on my bike and uh, once I realized it was within a couple of days cycle from St. Brogat I thought finally I'm gonna go there it's a place I've known about my entire life and I've always wondered what it'd be like to be here um, this is going to possibly be the dorkiest video I've ever made and the only people it'll be of interest to is my mum and my dad maybe one or two other of my mates but all the same um, like I say it's somewhere I have known about and thought about <laughs> for as long as I can remember so okay I'll, I'll shut up now are you ready for the big reveal okay ready Mons! I'm in Mons! <laughs> in Belgium, which, as everybody knows, is twinned with Ootl. <laughs> so, I think when I was a kid I knew about that. There used to be a little... I used to go to um, the TJ Hughes cafe with my mum and my nan every Thursday when they do the big shop. It was horrible. It was like really antwacky. It was really, really old. And I'm sure there was like a little plaque in there that told you where Mons was and how it was twinned and obviously it's the very famous Mons wacky warehouse which is a great tribute to this beautiful town that I'm in right now um, and I, I didn't know then what twinning really meant and I still don't at the minute but I definitely thought when I was a kid that it was an exact replica <laughs> of Bootle in Belgium um, I've not been here long but I'll have a little look around and we'll see how true that is. This is the courtyard of the Hotel de Ville, so the town hall. I think this must be the version of St. Robert Bell Mines. I think Bootle has some um, public art. I think there's a, a statue outside the Hubert College. Mm, I'm not sure what that is. And here we are at the Mons version of Hugh Baird College. So besides the Wacky Warehouse, we also named a square in Bootle Strand. Uh, it's called Mons Square, it's where the old boots used to be. I don't even know if it's still there. So I think this is what I thought their main square would look like. I thought it would have a boots, a TJ Hughes and a Sayers. Look at it. If you can hear me over the fountains, this is um, Town Hall. It's gorgeous, it's gorgeous. Look at that, everyone out enjoying a nice beer. This is a huge, huge moment for me. It's made <laughs> three days of pedalling through the wind and the rain all worthwhile. I'm in a car park around the back of some council offices. But, 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 but. Plaster Bootle. It's a pilgrimage that every true Scouser should make. Uh, okay, just to wrap up, up yesterday. I hope you enjoyed my little travelogue. I think um, I think this should def BBC should definitely make a series out of it, paying me to go around different twin towns. <laughs> um, a couple of things I missed out. It was um, I cycled along. The the ride there was absolutely beautiful. It was all along a canal. The towpath was perfect it was all tarmac and um, there were some amazing big barges and locks it was absolutely couldn't ask for more uh, and then as, as I kind of had to leave the canal I got a bit lost it got really complicated the sign like into Mons it looked like I nearly had to go on a motorway and then out of nowhere this cyclist came full lycra nice carbon look bike and I was just like Mons <laughs> Anyway, I followed him, followed him the last couple of miles into um, into Mons and he gave me the guided tour, he was a local. And I found out his name is Michel, because I found him on Strava. So that was a really nice um, start. And he also said to me, he said, how long are you staying? Because at the end of the week, like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, is this massive carnival. I'll come back to that in a second. Um, Anyway, I stayed the night with a guy called Luke, who I got in touch with on the Warm Showers website, which is my first time Warm Showers, so that was great. I got somewhere to stay, somewhere nice and warm and dry. 
uh, had a lovely spaghetti bolognese and a beer and a little bit of wine as well breakfast in the morning and uh, yeah he showed me his website which was absolutely amazing it's called Velo Ravel Ravel is the name of um, the kind of canal greenway network here so, and he has catalogued it in great great detail uh, he's gone around taking photographs he's put loads and loads of maps up there there's loads and loads of information proper label of fellow map geek fellow canal geek so that was really cool I'll put a link up to the um, to his website in the description um, and then also he showed me a video of this carnival that happens in Mons every year it's called Dudu or Dodo D-O-U-D-O-U -D -O -U. I'll put a link up to that as well it is mental I'm actually glad I'm not going to be there because I don't know I don't think I'd be able to get through the town centre with my bike um, there's a tradition it's part religious part legend they have a big thing in the main square where there you'll see it in the video if you watch the video there's George and the dragon and they put the dragon's tail into the crowd and it's covered in horse hair and you've got to grab a horse hair and then you keep it for a year and it's good luck the crowd go absolutely mental um yes yeah, so Luke was saying to me so do you have any carnivals and I was like not to that extent no we we win at football well a certain team win at football now and again once every 20 years or so and the city goes a bit mad but um, yeah we don't have carnivals like that in the UK it's a shame so I'll remember and I'll put those links uh, in the description down below oh, look at me proper like a YouTuber in the description down below um, today is day four I am 100 kilometers away from Mons it's been a long been a rainy day but you wouldn't think it now I don't think I'm gonna blog about today well I'm gonna mention what I've got to do tomorrow I've had a slight mechanical it's not an importance I'll come back to it Um, yeah I don't want to go on forever because these videos are gonna <laughs> end up being like Game of Thrones okay um so I'll probably catch up with you on day five or six bye